Today, I want to talk about four most affordable cities you can live in in Canada and be fine. Okay, so if you're considering coming to Canada, if you're considering relocating to Canada from your home country, and you're wondering what city is best for you to live in that is affordable and can give you the lifestyle you want, then be sure to watch this video to the very end because I have all the information for you. Now, if you're relocating to a new country, especially when you don't have so much funds, okay, and you want to live on a budget, it is paramount that you do a lot of research, okay, about the city you, are, you intend to go to before you relocate. We all know that even though the Western world offers a good quality of life, the Western world is also expensive to live in. So you want to make sure that you have this in control, at least to a very large extent, before considering relocating to any city. Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you three most affordable cities you can live in, either as a student or as a new immigrant, okay, or a newcomer in Canada. Now, the first city on my list is Regina. Regina is a city that is located in Saskatchewan, the province of Saskatchewan. This city is in the south central part of the province called Saskatchewan. Now, the reason why I would recommend Regina as the first on my list is that the city is relatively cheap compared to most cities we have here in Canada. Now, the cost of the one bedroom apartment in Regina. Now, this depends on whether you want to live in the city central or you want to live just outside the city. Okay, so the cost of a one bedroom apartment in Regina goes between 900 Canadian dollars to about 1000 Canadian dollars each per month. Now, for a three bedroom apartment in Regina, you can find this between 1600 Canadian dollars to 1700 Canadian dollars. This also depends on whether you want to live in the city central or you want to go outside the city a bit. Okay, so these are factors that you want to consider. Most cities in canada would not give you you will not find a three bedroom for one six to one seven guys it's not possible now another reason why i would have regina as the first on my list is that they also have consideration for educational facilities we have two options if you want to look at going to school in regina we have the university of regina and then we have the saskatchewan polytechnic all located in Regina. Okay, so if you're looking at coming to school here and you're looking for a city that is affordable that can help you as a student to live a minimalist life, then Regina should be your consideration. More so, the average salary, okay, in Regina, in the city of Regina, is just a little bit above the average Canadian salary. And I'm going to be giving you the details now. The average Canadian salary, okay, is about fifty-four thousand dollars per year. Okay, that's the average uh, that in an average Canadian or anyone living in Canada who has a job can earn per year. That's the average. But for the city of Regina, the average salary is about fifty-seven thousand dollars per year. So you see that it's just a little bit above the average Canadian salary, which is very fair. I want to talk about um, job opportunities. There are a couple of industries that thrive in Regina. The first one on my list is agriculture. Now, agriculture is a backbone, is a major backbone of the city of Regina. The agricultural sector in Regina plays a major factor in the economy of the province, okay? Saskatchewan as a province depends largely on this sector to thrive. So if you're someone who loves agriculture or who is in the agricultural sector, this is a good province for you. The second job opportunities that you might get in Regina is energy and resources, okay? Renewable energy. This is also thrives very well in Regina. We also have manufacturing, you know, we have a lot of manufacturing companies in Regina as well, and we also have biotechnology. So the the city of Regina is also big in biotechnology. Biotechnology has to do with medic the med medical line, medical field. So if you're someone who wants to go in that line, then this city is a good one for you to start off with. If you've watched this video to this very point, guys, please click on that like button. Click on the like button. Support my channel, guys. That's one way to help me get these videos out to much more people. I really do appreciate you guys. You can move to Regina, Saskatchewan through any of the programs that are available in the province. We have the express entry, which is the very most popular one that everyone knows. We have the provincial nomination. So if you are nominated by the province, you can apply. You can be invited by the government to apply 
for permanent residence, you can come to Regina as a permanent residence through this route. The third route will be the Rural Northern Immigration Pilot. This is another way to get into the city of Regina if you're interested. There are communities in Regina that are looking for people to you know, that are looking for people, okay? So if you have a job offer in any of these communities, you can come into Regina through this route. Now, for someone who wants to raise a family, I would say Regina is a good one because there are a lot of parks and, you know, schools in Regina. So if you're looking to raise a family in a, you know, serene environment that is also affordable, then Regina should be a consideration. Now, the second city on my list has to be Lethbridge, Alberta. Lethbridge is a city that is located in the province of Alberta. Now, this city is one of the sunniest cities in the whole of Canada. Now, with a city having a whopping 320 days of sunshine, what else can you ask for? You will not find this anywhere in Canada. Lethbridge is a city that promises you sunshine. So if you're someone who is very big on vitamin D, you know, Lethbridge is the city for you. Now, I want you to know that Lethbridge is not a big city. It has a population size of about, of about 106,000 people living in it. However, you will love it here. And this is why it has a lot of local attraction sites okay there are a lot of places to go and sightsee there are a lot of places to see in Lethbridge. above all the housing cost in Lethbridge is sweet interesting you know Lethbridge is a city if you're someone who is considering buying a property when you get into canada after a short while then you want to consider the city of Lethbridge. now the ranging cost of a one-bedroom apartment in Lethbridge would range between 900 Canadian dollars to 1000 Canadian dollars. This also depends on whether you want to stay in the city central or you want to go a bit away from the city central. So this is super affordable. And for a three bedroom apartment in Lethbridge, you will get it between 1500 Canadian dollars to 1700 Canadian dollars. This also depends on whether you want to stay in the city central or you want to move just a bit away from the city. Now guys, there's no way in Canada that you find house rent this cheap. Ask anyone you know who is here in Canada. This is really cheap for a three bedroom apartment. Now, when it comes to school, if you're someone who wants to come to school here in Canada, you want to come here for your master's. Lethbridge also gives you two options. We have the Lethbridge College and we have the University of Lethbridge. Now, when it comes to salary, the average salary in Lethbridge is just a little bit below the average Canadian, you know, salary. Now, for Lethbridge, the average salary you will find is about 52,000 Canadian dollars yearly. But you know already that the average Canadian salary is $54,000, okay? So it's just a little bit below the line, okay? Then let's talk about jobs in Lethbridge. Now, the industries that thrive very well in Lethbridge is one, agriculture. It has to be agriculture because with the amount of sunlight that the city gets, I told you it has about 320 days of sunlight. What else could be thriving in that city if not agriculture? So if you're someone who is into the agricultural sector, you have flair for agriculture, you want to go into agriculture, then this is the city you should consider. The second industry that thrives in Lethbridge has to be food processing and distribution. Now, because they are big on agriculture, of course, they also process food, they package food, they distribute food as well. So they are big on this as well. Then the third one has to be energy jobs. Energy, renewable energy. If you're someone in that line of, of field of, you know, work, you want to consider Lethbridge as a choice as well. You can come into the city of Lethbridge either through the express entry route or provincial nomination which is when you are being nominated by the by the province you know and you're given an ita which is invitation to apply for express entry okay or you can also come into this province or city with the northern rural immigration pilot any of these programs would enable you get into Lethbridge. it is also a very good place for family if you're big on family you want your family to you know you want to raise a family in a very serene environment, then Lethbridge is your choice. Now, the last on my list has to be Fredericton. Fredericton is a city that is located in New Brunswick. Actually, Fredericton is the capital of New Brunswick. Okay. Now, Fredericton has the largest amount of knowledge-based businesses. Okay. And by this, I mean they are big on research. So they have a lot of research institutes around Fredericton. Fredericton is one of the fastest growing cities 
around the Atlantic region of Canada. Fredericton is a small city. It has a population size of about 60,000 people living in it, so you can imagine. But guess what? It has a lot in the city. Now, Fredericton is just around some popular cities like Halifax, you know, Moncton, and St. John, and then Prince Edward Island. So it's within some popular cities that you might know. Now, when it comes to school, if you're considering coming to school in Canada, then Fredericton has a lot of options for you. Fredericton has about five schools in it, okay? The first one is the Maritime College of Forest Technology. That's the first school we have in Fredericton. The second one is New Brunswick College of Craft and Design. The third one is New Brunswick College. The fourth one is St. Thomas University. And the fifth one is University of New Brunswick. So these are five options you have in case you're considering coming to Canada or coming to New, um, Fredericton to school. Now, when we talk about housing, housing in Fredericton is relatively expensive compared to the other two I just mentioned, but then it's also cheaper compared to other cities in Canada. So I want to talk about the average one bedroom apartment you get in Fredericton would range between 1,000 so Canadian dollars to 1,300 Canadian dollars. This depends on whether you want to remain in the city central or you want to go a bit away from the city central. And for a three bedroom apartment in Fredericton, you would get it between 1,600 Canadian dollars to 1,900 Canadian dollars. The same situation, you know, happens for this. You want to stay in the city or you want to go a bit away from the city center. The average salary in Fredericton is a bit lower than the average Canadian salary. The average salary you find in Fredericton is about 51,000 Canadian dollars per year. While you already know that the average Canadian salary is $54,000. Now let's talk about jobs. What are the industries that are thriving in Fredericton? The first one has to be government. We have a lot of government power start -outs in the city of Fredericton. So if you're someone who wants a government job, there are some people who love government jobs, then Fredericton should be a consideration for you. Another thriving industry in Fredericton has to be IT. IT is becoming a big one in Fredericton. We have a lot of IT companies of some IT companies springing up in the city of Fredericton. Fredericton, sorry guys, English is a big deal. <laughs> So if you're someone who wants to work in the IT sector, you know, you already have the skills, then you want to consider the city of Fredericton. Another industry that I'll, I'll mention is has to be energy and renewable energy, right? That is also something that is big in Ed Edmonton. We also have the healthcare sector. So if you're someone who wants to work in the healthcare sector, maybe as a support worker, a nurse, you know, whatever it is you want to do in the health sector, you want to consider Fredericton because they have a lot of clinics and hospitals in Fredericton. Again, to immigrate to Fredericton, you can either come through the express entry route or you come through the provincial nomination or you come through the Atlantic Immigration Program. I've talked about the Atlantic Immigration Program in a previous video. I'll link it in my description box below so you want to watch it after this so you understand how that works. So these are some of the ways you can come into Canada or relocate to Canada or relocate to Fredericton as a new immigrant or as a student. Another thing I want you to remember is that New Brunswick as a province is a bilingual province. It's a province that speaks both English and French. So if you're someone who is bilingual, you understand French, you're good with French, then you have a lot of opportunities waiting for you in New Brunswick. You want to consider that province, okay, which Fredericton belongs to as a city of choice. Now, with all I have just told you, I only gave you three affordable cities. I'm sure there are some other cities that are also affordable that are not on this list. If you know about them, you want to drop them in the comment sections for me so that I can also learn and other people can also know about these cities. Guys, thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate you all. I'll see you on the very next one.